Welcome to video lecture. In this video, we are going to discuss about share capital. The total capital of the company is divided into smaller denomination. Each part is known as a share. The shares are issued for subscription. The person who is subscribing the share is termed to be an a share holder, and every share holder is entitled with dividend. Dividend is written for investing in shares, which the company will be paying them when they are earning a profit. The shares can be classified into two. which is equity shares and preference shares the amount raised by the company through issue of share is termed to be a share capital it is owned capital of the company there are seven types of share capital maximum amount of capital which a company is allowed to raise during its lifetime of its existence is termed to be authorized or registered share capital the amount is basically mentioned in the moa of the company itself so no company is entitled to issue the share beyond its authorized or registered share capital out of the authorized capital the company will be issuing its share to all the investor including the public is termed to be the issued capital the basic difference between the authorized and issued capital represent the unissued shares out of the issued shares shareholders will be subscribing to some amount of share is termed to be subscribed capital out of the subscription the company will be calling out the shareholder to pay the amount is called up capital once the called up capital has been made the shareholder will be coming forward to pay make the payment that is termed to be paid up capital in some cases the shareholder will fail to pay the payment that is treated as calls in arrear that amount will be deducted from the paid up capital and if a company is not calling up a particular amount out of the capital is termed to be an uncalled capital they will be calling up whenever it is necessary and then comes a reserve capital reserve capital is a capital which is kept aside which will be used only at the time of winding up of the company it can be used only after passing a special resolution for this purpose a company can issue shares whenever they want to raise their fund so they will be issuing the share at par or premium or at discount but after amendment of companies act 2013 the share should not be issued at discount anymore so now the share will be either issued at par or at premium whenever the company is offering the shares at face value it is termed to be par if they are issuing the share more than the face value it is termed to be an a premium company will have two modes of payment for issue of share the first one is full consideration or lump sum and the next one is by installment in lump sum method the shareholder has to pay the entire amount at the stage of application itself if not the share will not be allotted to the that particular shareholder journal entry for issue of share in lump sum method is bank account data to share capital this is the basic entry which we have to remember for the entire chapter the next method is installment in installment there are five stages which is share application share allotment share first call share second call and share final call maximum the company can make three calls not more than that journal entry for the same for share application it is bank account data to share application share application account data to share capital if we cancel the share application which is on debit and credit side will come to the basic entry which is bank account data to share capital which we saw in the previous slide so that is why i said that bank account data to share capital is a basic entry for this entire chapter the next one is share allotment for share allotment and share call it remains same maybe we are going to change the word it is share allotment account data to share capital bank account data to share capital the same thing debit and credit share capital will be getting cancel and the basic entry bank account data to share capital next journal entry for the share calls share calls account data to share capital bank account data to share calls the same debit and credit share calls will be cancel and the basic entry bank account data to share capital the next concept is under subscription and over subscription of shares when a company is inviting public for its subscription there are two possibilities when the company is going for an issue the public subscription is less than issue is termed to be an under subscription in this case 
uh, the company will take it forward of the number of shares which the public have been applied for. The next case is oversubscription, which is the company is receiving a subscription which is more than the issued capital. It is termed to be an oversubscription for which there are three alternate ways to calculate the excessive application. The first one is rejecting application. Whatever the excess we got, we are rejecting it entirely or we are accepting the entire excess application or we are making a pro rata allotment which is we are accepting some application and we are rejecting some application. That combination is termed to be an a pro rata allotment. When the shareholder pay the amount in excess before the due date is termed to be calls in advance, such amount is credited to a separate account called calls in advance but not in share capital account. Likewise, when the shareholder is failing to make a payment in the given time as termed to be calls in arrear and which is transferred to calls in arrear account. When a shareholder is failing to make a call in a given time, irrespective of the company is giving a notice for make a payment, but the shareholder is failing to pay the payment again and again, his share will be got back by the company itself and it will be credited to the separate account called share forfeited account. The journal entry for the same is share capital account data to share calls which is the calls in arrear to share forfeiture. The company will issue the forfeited shares to another shareholder is termed to be a reissue of shares. In this case, the share is termed to be a second hand share. So it is always sold at discount price. The journal entry for the same is bank account data share forfeited. In the share forfeited, we will be showing the discount amount which is for say the 10 rupee shares has been reissued for 8 rupees. In this case, 2 rupees is discount. That 2 rupees will be shown on the share forfeited account. So the journal entry is bank account data, share forfeited account data to share capital. In some cases, the company will make a profit on their resale for which the journal entry is share forfeited account data to capital reserve. Whatever the profit the company has made by the reissue of shares, that profit will be transferred to capital reserve. This is the overall brief about share capital. Thank you.